hello guys welcome to solution tips this is Haris Muntazir back again with another video today in this video as you can see I will show you guys how you can install Mac OS Catalina on your uh, Windows 10 PC desktop so for this you have to download the file is given in description uh, one of them is Mac OS Catalina disk image another one is uh, uh, file script file and uh, the third one and the second one is uh, virtual box uh, if you have not downloaded it you can download it from the link below so once you have downloaded these files uh, you have to extract the virtual uh, disk image right right click on it and uh, click on extract then enter the password you have to enter into guide.com as password once uh, extracted you can check out the files inside it uh, what now after the extraction just uh, start the virtual box okay now create a new virtual machine enter the name of uh, the virtual machine you want to give to the Mac OS Catalina and uh, remember this name because we will need it and also select the system version as uh, Mac OS 10.12 Syrah 64 bit okay as I said we will require this name so just uh, type the name here and then copy it and save it to some text file uh, for temporary purposes so we get it easily when we need it okay i'm going to open notepad and uh, keep this name saved here now once you have done this uh, set the memory size uh, maybe you can just adjust the memory to a bit more because uh, that will provide you performance on mac os catalina now proceed with the setup uh, as i am doing in the video Now after that uh, you have to go to the settings and uh, settings of this uh, virtual machine and in the settings go to system tab then go to processor and select the processors uh, same thing here as of uh, the memory you have to select uh, as much processors as you can and then go to display and select a display memory as much as you can and then um, save the settings now go back to settings and uh, go to storage and add a new disk image like I'm doing in the video we will require the disk image that we extracted uh, that actually you downloaded from the description and then extracted uh, it's here now select it now once it is here you can select it from here and click on ok to continue now we can start uh, mac os catalina oh i'm sorry before you start uh, mac os catalina you just have to open up the text or script file that uh, you downloaded the third option uh, so what you have to do is to you have to replace name in virtual box given in the text file with the, the name of the virtual machine that you have chosen like I have chosen Mac OS Catalina I will replace all it is initials now I will copy this code and open uh, command from it as administrator just remember to open command prompt as administrator once open it paste these lines and you will see it will execute them one by one and uh, finally you can close this file we can go back to mac os catalina and start it As you can see, it is uh, writing some code to the terminal type window. We have to wait here until it gets completed. Now, it will take some time here depending on the performance of your system. Uh, like uh, I have a slower system with only 8 GBs of RAM, so it will take some time. Now, uh, you can see it tells me about uh, 14 minutes is remaining, but it actually takes much more than that. So, uh, I will cut a part of video from here. now after that you will land to this page when that previous setup completes you have to select the setup as accordingly as you would for uh, uh, as you would do when installing a windows operating system you have to set up uh, your computer 
Now let's select my computer does not connect you to the internet. This is easy enough, you can proceed with the setup accordingly. Okay, I'm going to enter the full name. Then account name will be automatically chosen. You can also change it and then enter the password. Okay, going to continue. It's creating the account. Uh, so once the account is created, we can land on Mac OS Catalina. Now just a few more clicks. Choose your look as I prefer the auto. Setting up Mac. Now we are almost to there. Here we go. You can see we have successfully installed Mac OS Catalina on our Windows uh, 10 PC or desktop computer. Now we can test some few apps like I'm going to open Nodes. The performance is actually not that good because of uh, my system configuration. It's not uh, that much. Now I'm going to create a node here. As you can see, Thank you guys for watching this video. If you find this helpful, please like, share and also subscribe to the channel Solution Tips for more videos like this.